Thank you, Dean. Time now for Round Town. Hey, Anna. Good morning. I've been telling you all morning that the professor, the teacher for these little ninjas here at North Riverside is very special. Let me introduce you two now formally to Master Jerry Kidd. Good morning, sir. Good morning. How are you? I'm doing great. This is why this man is so special for so many reasons. He's been teaching Taekwondo in the area for many, many years. This is kind of his retirement plan because where you see him right here, he's 71. But he is only of two Americans, Larry and Robin, yeah. to have this belt. What is this recognition? That's the recognition of the perseverance, which is one of the virtues that you learn through the martial arts to get to that level. It's a bucket list for me to get to ninth because very few people will get to that level. This is a ninth level black belt. Yes, that's the highest level you attain. Usually people make it to what, Master? They get the black belt and they drop out. They think a uh, black belt is it. It. But it's the beginning of everything. How old were you when you got I started this? at 24. And how old were you when you got this? Uh, I got a black belt in 1980. Ooh, last century. Yes. I understand, <laughs> sir. I understand. This table is full of recognitions, not only of you as an athlete, but also as a teacher. You owned a school in Broadview. Broadview right? and Hillside. And Hillside for 20 years. And now you're teaching kids at the Park District here at North Riverside. 18 years. 18 years. Why is teaching so important to you? Well, the greatest service you can render unto him is in doing good to his other children. Mm -hmm. And I believe in giving back to the community of children. Mm -hmm. I'm here to change the world. Yeah. And then you change the world through the children, yeah. through discipline. You know what I mean? Discipline must be active, activated in children because that's what's missing today in our society. Yeah. Discipline. Okay, I want to know about that Chuck Norris picture. <laughs> I, I am uh, not going to ignore this. Tell me the Chuck, Chuck Norris, Norris story. Chuck Norris and I, we had training. We had a tra he came to Chicago mm -hmm. at the Hillside Theater mm -hmm. many years ago. It's where I first met him. I think his movie was Sidekick out yeah. at that time in the 80s. And I met him there, and he had a training seminar in California. And I traveled there to train with him and take pictures with him so that he was the Texas Ranger, the hottest thing going at the particular time outside of uh, the Karate Kid. That is fantastic. Yeah. I want you to go back in front with your kids. How old are these kids? Uh, they range from age five to six. And you're constantly <laughs> hammering not only the skills of martial arts, but also life lessons. I heard you tell them that the be the difference between... Success and failure is... Discipline. Yeah. Doing what you're supposed to do, whether you want to like it or not. Right. Coming to class whether they want to do or not. And we have to teach the parents discipline because they say, well, I don't... Oh, look at them! They're all sitting back there! Did anyone felt the message? Yeah, I okay. don't, parents would say, I don't want to force him to do, but you got to change your lingo. You have to motivate them. All right, I'm going to turn you around, mm -hmm. and I want you to say goodbye by leading these kids into that chant where you okay. tell them every day. All right, everybody turn around, please, this way up. Did you enjoy the TV, people? Yes, sir! Now, we're going to do the Ninja Creed for everybody, but we're going to do it like we've never done it before. Can you do that? Yes, sir. I want the stiffest cherry up I've ever seen. Right. I want it to be as cold as that pond was this winter. Okay. Class, cherry up. Ninja Queen.